Uh, Sierra News Indian exclusive. India has said that Pakistan's show of compliance with the FATF is an eyewash. This is after a 15-member FATF team completed a four-day visit to Pakistan on site to decide whether it is to be moved to the white list from the grey list. A decision is to be taken in October. Indian intelligence sources have said that the FATF teams are never shown areas in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, areas which actually harbour terrorists. Let me go across to our MEA correspondent, Abhishek Jha. Remember, Pakistan was in the blacklist for uh, some time and then it got moved to the grey list where it's been for a number of months and years now. And now in October, the FATF needs to take a call on whether to move Pakistan from the grey list to the white list. Of course, for that, a series of conditions need to be met with. Uh, whether or not Pakistan meets with those conditions and whether this is turning out to be an eyewash, we will only know in October. But it's clear that Indian intelligence sources believe that Pakistan is never fully revealing the truth of its terror activities that are happening on its soil. Abhishek has more details on this. Abhishek, just walk us through uh, the, the entire saga of Pakistan and the FATF, the grey list to the white list possibly, and why India has some very, very serious concerns about it. So, Zaka, it's been almost three and a half years since Pakistan had been uh, put in the grey list of FATF, which has uh, halted a lot of investment opportunities uh, for the Pakistani government. And this has also been one of the major contributors uh, in the major economic crisis, the financial crisis that Pakistan government and the people are facing for today. It is believed that almost 38 billion worth of loss of investment has been incurred to Pakistan because of the FATF uh, putting Pakistan in the grey list. Last, uh, you know, last meeting of FATF in June had decided that in the last few months, Pakistan has been able to uh, furnish some of the key conditions that FATF has laid in front of Pakistan, that these conditions, if met, then Pakistan's and the revision, uh, revision on whether Pakistan should uh, be in grey list will be taken. Uh, taken. Uh, so last during the last meeting in June, it was decided that Pakistan, FATF decided that Pakistan has been uh, doing little well, but the final decision uh, to, to keep Pakistan in grey list or not will be uh, decided only once the assessment team from FATF uh, will visit right. Pakistan and they will have the ground reality. So All right, Abhishek, we'll leave it at that. Abhishek Chah, our reporter there on the FATF visit to Pakistan. And that's a wrap of the 